Welcome back to the channel. We're here in Knoxville, Tennessee. I'm out here for work. Just flew in last night. And I'm gonna sneak in a little round before our, our convention starts. It is, we're here at Victor Ash and it feels so nice. You can see I'm wearing a vest. It's 60 degrees. I kind of feel a little silly wearing a vest, but it's like 30 degrees colder than I'm used to right now, being June. It is a perfect morning out here. Looks like there's a little bit of dew on the ball fields and stuff. Luckily I brought a towel. But uh, you know, we're on our way to hole one. Just got dropped off by my Uber about 10 minutes away from downtown Knoxville. I'll warm up and we'll get to checking out the course. So I don't normally do this, but since I'm walking by it, here's hole one's basket. I'm assuming that's hole one's tee pad based on the other videos I've seen. Be on this kind of very well protected green. There's a hyzer line coming in and a straight gap. Let's go see it from the other side of the water. Here's hole one. First off, a couple big pluses. There's some big soccer fields over here. That would be a great place to warm up. I only have like six discs with me, so I wouldn't really bother doing that too much, and the grass is pretty damp two practice baskets which is nice and it looks like maybe hole 18 I'm just seeing is like right there and then at their little kiosk um the tea sign is and stuff there's a sunscreen dispenser kind of like you know hand sanitizer dispenser or soap dispenser but sunscreen so that's kind of cool there's hole one beautiful pond you check it out Here's those soccer fields I was telling you about. And check out that sunrise. Pretty sure this tree's safe. Shout out, Mountain Sports 50th anniversary stamp. It's a little, a little wet this morning. It's a little deep because there's a perfect Anheuser window right here and I think I hit that branch and kicked down. Walk in from the green of two short to threes tee, and this is too long since we're walking past it. Might as well show it to you. It's a cool looking green, got that slope into the rough. I've got no idea what's down there, but definitely a touchy up shot. 
you don't want to be obstructed. It's a cool hole though. Just next to that tree right there. So there's the tree that got me in the short. There's the long. I'm pretty sure that's the thousand foot hole location way down there. What a beautiful park. Beautiful park. Nah, just getting copyrights. Again, short and regular, thousand foot. And then this little island of bushes is a blocking view of the next tee pad. You wanna come around this left side here. No one's out here, so it's not a big deal. But uh, there's Forest Basket over there. I was in Forest Fairway, just looking around like a dummy. Luckily, no one's out here. Otherwise, I could have got hit. But now you know. T sign says 320. Can't really see it. It says it's straight been accurate so far so I'm just gonna put the big ZZs out there. Definitely left. See so yeah, I'm way too far left but these trees can be your markers. It's like these trees are gonna grow up and block the next tee pad, which is a nice safety feature. So 378, little turnover hole, a couple baskets down there. Come on, Jackalope. Pretty much. So I've pretty much walked straight off the tee. My disc is over there. So I guess it was a good layup. Or maybe that's our basket. I don't know, i have to see what number is on it. Maybe that was a great shot, but a medium commitment level shot landing in all those. And that's probably all wet in there because it's coming out of the pond that you throw over on hole one, so. Maybe I made a lucky choice. Thanks to Udisc, I know that that is not my basket and that that is my basket. So, not bad. So yeah, quite a bit of walking. Oh, the basket I just played from is back there. I'm walking down this road to hole six's tee pad. This actually would be a cool hole. That's, this would be a good like 5B. I don't know what this road's used for though, so who am I? But uh, yeah, definitely want U-Disc to play this course. 
makes it a whole lot easier. I would have been wandering around for a while, especially no one's out here yet. Um, I would have been wandering around. Yeah, I would have been wandering around for a while trying to figure out where to go next. And thankfully for you, Disc, I'm a third of the way done with the round in about 30 minutes. Ooh, I'm liking the looks of this. Kind of DFW-ish. Little pecan grove. Let's see how it plays out. So I'm a little short of this rock in the fairway. Let me know in the comments if this is like your course. Like is this rock on this whole thing where you're like, oh no, like my buddies are gonna give me a hard time. I didn't even make it to the rock. Let me know. So there's the short, there's the tee back there, property line, long basket, and whole sevens back here. Also, shout out to the city or the club or whoever takes care of this course. It does say Knoxville Disc Golf Association. So shout out to them for having these decent tee pads. Good spot to hang a little bag like that. So far, all concrete pads. This one's got a little retaining wall system over it to keep it clean. Keep the hill from washing down onto it, I'm assuming. Okay, here's hole seven. Gonna go Big Z Zeus again. It's over 400 feet. It doesn't really look like it, but that's what the T sign says. Over 400 feet to the short pin. Up along, and then the short is hidden behind a tree right over there. Try and just smooth a jackalope down there. It is downhill. Let's see how it goes. Give myself a little bit of relief, but I found it. Here's the, here's the green from the long. There's nine's T. There's the short. And there's the tee pad back there. What a cool fairway. What a stinking cool fairway. Oh yeah, there's the line. Slightly elevated. Totally straight, but a turnover could get it. I'm gonna try that jackalope again. Just a little 
all too high. All too high. Again. Maybe that was a good branch. I probably would have gone down in there, actually. If it wasn't for that branch. Um, maybe the longs down there, I don't know. It's kind of dark. Almost pinned it. Ooh, that long position on there looks so fun. I bet that is awesome to get that. Woo! Three sixty downhill. Let's go. Let's go. I hope I'm parked. Even if I'm not though, this is just such a pretty park. Pretty fairway. What a great way to start the day. Okay, I don't see my drive yet. It's a good sign. Oh heck yeah. Heck yeah, let's go. Two seventy uphill. That might have a Mando sign on it. I think it does. So that kind of takes the hyzer out, anyways. Got some new young trees that are gonna help shape that side of the fairway a little more, which is cool. I bet this one is a bummer if you don't get it. Um, it's uphill quite a bit, so we're gonna go understable fairway. So I'm about pin high, so I made the right disc choice. So B position says it's only 374, kind of a hyzer down to the left. So I'm guessing it's down there. Not totally positive though, because that's definitely part of the fairway for the last hole in the lungs. So maybe it's down there. I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out. Yeah, so I think it's down that gap and then left. <laughs> One tree I had to beat. So before my camera falls over, here's the tree I hit. There's the basket. So it's actually pretty darn straight. Move my tripod here, trying to get yeah. Okay. A little straighty. Right at the bucket. Go in. Go in. Oh, it's so deep. <laughs> it's like 50. Dang it.
Dang it. I was hoping to start with the turkey, but off the tee, that hole looked like it had a lot of danger. It's really just those initial gaps. Um, it opens up a lot on the left and on the right after you kind of make it down to the bottom of the hill. Not a lot of danger. I was kind of apprehensive. And the shorts, that's the only par three pin position on that hole. The other two are par fours. But that's all right. Got some birdies, brought my score back down. On the hole 13. So hole 13, straight ahead in that nice frame. There's the long. There's the short. I'm going to play it pin high towards the long and then pitch back in. I honestly don't want anything to do with that gap in that line. That's gnarly. That's a cool hole, though. It's only 250. I'm going to flirt with the right side a little bit, throw the uplink. So I ended up right there. This is absolutely the play. I just went a little long. It, it actually like curves towards the basket really nicely, giving a little bit of room for like either a tighter turnover or a, just a decent forehand. But yeah, I ended up right there. Anniversary stamp bobcat. A little skip out of it. That's what I needed. All right, it's time for a long walk again down this sweet road that I said would make a good fairway. But now we're walking the other way, so that's one reason it wouldn't make a good fairway, but it's a cool gap nonetheless. Got one more birdie. Could have gotten something that would skip a little more, so maybe the goat would have been the right call, but then maybe it would have hazard out early and skipped too much. Who knows, but it doesn't... It wasn't like a 90 degree angle you needed to skip. It could have skipped forward a little more. But also the grass is really wet this morning. So maybe that slightly overstable mid-range is the perfect throw. I just didn't get a good skip because the grass is so wet. But uh, yeah, on to hole 15. Almost through the round. I'm going to go shower. Go back to work. So far, this course is awesome. Um, some of the easier fairways, quote unquote easier. If you look at my scorecard, I bogey them. But uh, got a low ceiling. Not super low. Not so low that you're like, oh, low ceiling. But some of my nose up throws have been problematic. But so far, awesome course. Shout out to my buddy Brandon for recommending it. If I'm out here again for a show, I still want to check out the Claytons. But uh, yeah, I'm really glad I came to Vic Ash. This place is sweet. There's the short. Just a little 252 footer. I'm gonna throw that bobcat again. 
play with the, the right side of the fairway. See if we can get another birdie. Well placed tree. Well placed. Got to throw a little straighter at this one. There's the shore. Nice semi-tight tunnel, good little forehand, forehand flex, backhand turnover. You already know which line I'm gonna take at it though, backhand turnover. Four hundred and twenty nine feet downhill and that way. So I wanna probably throw my Zeus just inside of those big trees there and give myself a look. It's part three, so we'll see how it goes. Actually, if you have it throwing over those big trees instead of going inside of them, that I think is the play. Got about a hundred foot way up here. I'll try and bars be it. <laughs> yeah, the thing's not stable enough. Hole 18, about 250 feet up to the right there. This would be a sick forehand flex shot. I'm gonna try and just throw backhand straight and see what happens. Pretty out of position here. If I throw it in, I'll get a par. I'm gonna throw my first forehand of the round. Des Redding, Signature Series, GOAT. Get out and throw, even if you're on a work trip. Get out. So here's the soccer field I was telling you about. Got about 20 minutes till my driver picks me up, so I'm gonna throw a couple. Start with the insanity, didn't throw that at all today. trouble with that now you gotta go chase it yeah i'm getting picked up on the other side that's a, that's a good move <laughs> Ooh, 
foolish. So yeah, the final hole got me. I wanna say I took a five. Let's see, off the fairway, on the fairway, up, up, putt. Yeah, I took a five, so. Ended up three big. Not too bad for the first time out here. I'm, I'm okay with that. Um, all in all, great course. I'd probably give it like a four out of five though. The only, only knock it has is with all of the different pin placements, sometimes you have to walk through a fairway to get to the next tee pad. Like, and I'm not talking about like on hole six, you have to keep walking past six long to get to seven. I'm talking about like on 15, you're gonna have to walk through six long, which, oh, picking up some of these discs, which, uh, I don't know how busy it is here. Maybe it's not a super busy park. You can get away with that, but uh, DFW people will be getting hit for sure. That's just how busy and crowded our courses are. See, so yeah, I threw from up on that hill. I threw from up on that hill back over there and just picked up my Zeus. So, it was a good throw. Anyways, definitely check out Vic Ash. Victor Ash Park, if you're in Knoxville, it's well worth playing. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you out there.